Misleading Influence Statistical Physics on Neuroscience Excitation Inhibition Balance in Cortical Networks Two decades of a misleading concept ended at 2015 by other statistical physicists. What was the puzzle? Neurons have a low firing rate of 1 hertz or below. If each neuron stimulates one or fewer neurons on average, the activity will die out. Yet, if each neuron stimulates more than one, a high activity will emerge. How can a balanced activity be achieved? Statistical physicists proposed a solution in 1996. Excitation Inhibition Balance Let's translate statistical physics to neuroscience. A spin-up represents a firing neuron. Spin down a silent neuron. Ferromagnetic weights represent excitatory synapses. Antiferromagnetic weights represents inhibitory synapses. With only excitatory interactions, all neurons fire. However, a mixture of excitatory and inhibitory synapses, similar to spin glasses in statistical physics, forms a balanced system. Excitation Inhibition Balance Network stems from statistical physics. One of the most influential concepts during the last three decades. However, its validation was very limited. Mean field limit. Limited parameters. Single delays for all connections. Excluding the effect of neuronal response latencies and response failures. Experimental disproof. A neuronal culture planted on a 60 multi-electrode array with excitatory and inhibitory synapses and spontaneous evoked spikes. The average detected firing rate was measured with an average around 2 Hz. Blocking the inhibitory synapses. Results in almost the same average spontaneous activity. Indicating that low firing rate was achieved in a solemnly excitatory network. In conclusion, inhibition changes the time domain, creating silence periods, while slightly affects the average spontaneous activity. Low firing rate is achieved in excitatory networks. Excitation inhibition balanced networks is a misleading concept. Key solution. Neuronal plasticity. Each neuron has a maximal firing frequency, independent of the stimulation frequency. The maximal neuronal firing frequency varies greatly between different neurons, from subhertz to a few tens of hertz. In vivo support was found. Extracellular and intracellular electrodes were inserted into an anesthetized rat and the firing rate was found also to be independent of the stimulation frequency. Remarkably, in an experiment of a few hours, a neuron was intracellularly recorded, while given a quarter of million stimulations. What are the underlying mechanisms? The first is the chain mechanism, where a neuron, with a low critical frequency, controls the transmission rate, serving as a bottleneck. The second mechanism is heterogeneous stimulation patterns. Where a neuron is alternately stimulated below and above FC, with a stimulation average above FC. However, the resulting average firing rate is below FC. Hence, heterogeneous stimulation patterns reduce firing rates below FC. Let's look at a network using these two mechanisms. Assume the FC of the neuron is flatly distributed between 6 and 15. 
the chain mechanism drives the firing frequency to the tail of the FC distribution, and the heterogeneous mechanism drives it even lower. This is how low firing rates are achieved in excitatory networks, and it was confirmed in Langevin equations. Emulation of a network using one neuron over several hours. Simulations of leaky integrate and fire neurons. A byproduct of FC is theta and gamma oscillations. These presented results paved the path and led to the following experiments summarized in this timeline. Dynamical logic gates. FC, low firing and oscillations. Network emulation. FC in vivo. Anisotropic FC and new neuron. Dendritic learning. Ultrafast dendritic learning. Anisotropic refractory periods. FC sequence identification. Neuronal plasticity independent of membrane potential. Efficient shallow learning. About two years after our work, a partial U-turn was initiated in the original idea of excitation inhibition balance without a reference to our work. Even three decades later, the idea of excitation inhibition balance is still influential possibly due to misleading, strong leadership.